I think Hoodle senses something. to pull through. Oh, it's over here. <clears throat> Maybe something's going on in the forest. There is only a plant down there. Oh, it's okay. Guess I misread the landing. A red sage. area we are not going to do fishing Let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run. Up to the castle. We should be able to cook here.
Oh, okay. We're almost there. Guys, don't let your guard down. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about us barging through the front gate. Look at this place. Look at this place. It's amazing. Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive. And there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganeth Haros. So I'll ask again. Are you Alfin and his companions? We are. Then pass. Lord Voron is expecting you at Castle Del Forest. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. <laughs> so we're supposed to meet him in there? Oh what my do god. Now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle. Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now, if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. that about they were Danins, right that wasn't normal wait you don't think it could have been the fruit of helgen do you no they seem too docile what about astral energy could you sense any coming from them no and i'm pretty sure i could tell if it was if not that though then what speaking of which it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either They were headed for the castle. A 
I have a bad feeling about those boats. I get what you mean. So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed-out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, they might be in the mood to give us some answers. Gives me the creeps. La, your legs are shaking. What? <laughs> your Why legs are shaking. Just kidding. <laughs> He's scared. You. And again, an elevator. There's always elevators when you we reach the final bosses or like that. I've seen ghost towns that were more alive than this city. Where the hell did all the Danans and Renans go? Shion. There's nothing to collect. Let's move on. Okay. There is more over here. There's nobody here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle. But... Let's go to the castle. <clears throat> no good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! Yeah. Snap out of it! Can't you see what's happening? You're being deceived! Please stop! You'll die! Damn it! Full Run is killing you! You need to run! Please, get off the boat! What just happened? We're being summoned. Summoned? By that murdering monster? It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us... No, to Alfin. Just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. All those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are 
stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. Damn it. How awful. Oh. All of those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. this what I think it is? Those people, they were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. Hmm. Still... If it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion, perhaps. But frankly, I doubt it. But that would mean... they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But... to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts. Whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods, the outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Oh, that's Shion. Wait! Uh, something's not right. They're both... ...and I'm... ...all alone. It's dark. Please help me. What? She on it. It's so dark. Everyone... We came to save you. It's okay now. And I'm all alone. It's dark. Please help me. No. Shion? Lies. What? Doors! 
This situation just got prickly. There is immense dark astral energy here. Far too potent to be the work of a single individual. It's possible Volaron's manipulating her. We cannot tell from this far away. We need to be much closer. Only to do that. First we need to get rid of the thorns. So we fight fire with fire! Unless you have a better idea. Can you take it? I'm alone. I'm all alone. Sit up! I can't die. But I also can't live. Sion! I... I... Sion! We're coming for you! Won't let you down this time. This pain I feel. It's nothing compared to what you're going through. I won't let you go again. I can take whatever you give me. So please, open your eyes. Sion! It's over! Tectonic Tectonic well. My turn! I'll smash you! Dragon Swarm! Solid Swarm! The thorns just keep growing back. If this keeps up, then... Please wake up, Xion! Come back to us! completely alone. You're wrong. <laughs> Elfin! She thinks we left her all alone. She can't see us. Or hear us. <laughs> all of this... It's because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. <laughs> Do I have to tell you? Not to be so careless. <laughs> there is no more time for us to rest. Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. She's joining the team. She's back. Stronger than ever. Let's go. 
Bull Run is waiting. Hey, Alfin? Hmm? What is it? While I was away, what did you do? I missed you. Alfin. But after what happened because of me... I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward? You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> is it just me, or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> we all express it's ourselves fine. in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. Shion. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We have to take Volron out. Right. Those things that came out of Shion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art. And she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? I suppose she might have an answer, but isn't yet ready to talk. Shion. Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> So, the Sovereign, the Renis Alma, the fate of Lenigus 300 years ago? Yes, that is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So, what do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Shion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously, these so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. 